some more stuff. So yesterday I said there's a lot of Colorado plates around. Right now there's another Colorado plate. There's a black Mercedes next to it. There's no plate showing. And then there's some stuff over here by the store. Plastic. This is a clear plastic. <laughs> by cigarettes. So plastic is highly linked with assassinations. And then there's this stuff. Smart stuff to the wall side. Jerky. The beef jerky, I feel, is somehow linked to Becky White. She's, I remember her using that phrase in some way that was weird. It was really traumatic to me. Um, that first sip feeling, Starbucks, I think she's also linked to. Fire sauce, fire whatever that is, with Alexa. The Amazon phone, maybe. Silica gel. Do not eat. I see this. I used to see this thrown out a lot. I don't understand. It must have something to do with maybe with the people that make this, or it has something to do with the idea that if it's soaking up moisture in a black folded thing like a black wallet. So I think this is linked to Becky White. That's what I think. I mean, others also, but her. It's really hard for me to believe that people, but you know, what, what they did was they, they made sure that I left my parental home early and they made sure Chris left his parental home. Chris was left by, by the age of 14. He was sent to this boarding school and that was a designed situation. I was aware of that, but there's always such these longer plans, these bigger, longer, more evil than you could possibly imagine plans. And that's why they can do it. I think they discovered that the more evil their plans are, the less likely people are to figure them out because most people don't think in those terms. So they get really evil. Um, and in Chris's case, he was taken away from his family so that his family could be turning him against him like this so that they would murder him. And I mean, Becky would not have gone that far. And I'm gonna say right now, Becky's trying to get Chris, I mean, she already succeeded in getting Chris killed. I just, I can't, it just, I, I don't think about it too much because it's the rage is almost overwhelming with me. Because Chris, this isn't only about killing somebody, this is about destroying their life. And that she's been involved with killing other musicians. So she married this guy whose family, I guess, grandfathered her into this. But who the hell would do this to their own sibling? I just, but, you know, I have to logically step back from it and say, okay, they separated out the families, and they probably, they, you know, they did some things between Chris and Becky, maybe, and they definitely traumatized Becky. The little bit that I know about her is two cars very similar, following each other, twins, right? Knowing what I know about Becky, um, there's two, there's two over there, too. So this is something that you see sometimes, a pattern where you see matching cars, a symbolizing the twins, so the car is being linked to murders in sets. Those both have 88 on them. And then the other two are red. <coughs> so intellectually, I guess, you know, if you're not the person they're trying to kill or you're not close to the person you're trying to kill, I guess it could be understandable almost. It doesn't make it okay, though, and um, I just can't even imagine what it would take to have someone accept money and goods for the death of someone like a brother or sister. Um, it, and it must take somebody really convincing himself of something, but like I said, it's not just that. It's his whole career, but clearly they don't care about musicians or art or anything. They just think people are there. Some people are throwaway people. That's 
has to be what they think, because I can't imagine that a person could even do this otherwise. And that's white supremacy. It works like that. So that's what needs to end, and certainly this white family is part of that.